What's going on apes the ape army my name is Tyler and welcome back to the channel so in this video I want to talk about the real reason why AMC stock fell so hard over this past week and this really does revolve around the option chain and we're going to break that down just so you guys understand what is going on and what I expect going into the future by looking at this same option chain as well as go over a little bit of the chart action give you guys an ortex update and also acknowledge some news that came out about AMC networks and I don't want you guys to get confused about this because this is a bad thing for AMC Networks, but AMC Entertainment is different. So if you guys see this, I just want you guys to be fully aware that this is not AMC that we love and we are invested in for the mother of all short squeezes. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Now, first things first, guys, Ortex data is extremely wrong and is being proven to be very inaccurate. So they are indicating that we had about 6.61 million shares that were covered two days ago keep in mind this is the t plus two settlement time so they are saying the short interest percentage of free flow is at 14.73 percent the current shares that are sold short of 75.33 million now how do we know this is very inaccurate let alone just a couple days ago they had us at about 20 percent short interest then in one day dropped us dropped us down to 16 percent short interest and literally admitted that their models were miscalculating the short interest in amc but as far as two days ago Ago, we went down 15.04% in a single day. We did not have over 6 million shares that were covered on this day. That is very inaccurate. We did have almost 136 million in volume. Even if you did have 6 million shares that were theoretically covered and you have other people buying in as well, obviously a lot of fraud, manipulation, corruption, and naked short selling as well as synthetic short selling that is going on with this stock, especially on this day, I do believe. But even if you did have 6 million shares that were bought back, you wouldn't have seen this huge drop. And this lack of accuracy with the Ortex data and the way that they are reflecting this number is very discouraging because as we do know, this is impossible. Quite frankly, there's no way that you could justifiably say that 6 million plus shares were covered on a day we dropped 15%, over 15% in AMC stock when apes were doing nothing but buying the dip. Yes, you may have seen in between 3 and 5% of apes sell out of their positions but still i don't think you would see a 15 percent drop even if that was the case and i may be way overestimating there it might have only been one or two percent but you guys understand what i'm saying it is just not possible to be seeing so many shares that were covered just leading me to believe the ortex data overall cannot be trusted guys so i am currently looking for something else that can provide more accurate information to us so we can stay up to date with what is really going going on with AMC stock. Now, we might just be getting these numbers from Ortex. Let's give them the grain of salt for just one second. We might be getting these numbers because it is quite hard to tell what hedge funds and institutions are actually doing because they can use manipulative strategies to actually cover their shares but not report this information so or, or take on shorts and not have to report that information as well it goes both ways so it's not 100 i'm just going to expand the horizons and look to see if there's anything else that will give us a more accurate picture of what is actually going on now let's talk about really why amc stock fell so hard over the past week and i think it's obvious a huge part of that was fraud, manipulation, corruption, as well as naked shorting or short-term naked shorting where it doesn't necessarily come up as failure to delivers because that is T plus three settlement time. So if they did this, in one day or even two days, that would not come up as a failure to deliver. So I think that is what was going on in a very short term fashion, as well as a lot of synthetic short positions, which also do give you the same exposure of a regular short position, as well as just some overall additional legal shorts getting into short positions. But what I really want to talk about, it comes down to the option chain and the amount of puts that we've seen on this expiration date come this Friday. It is about double as many calls that are currently in the money for puts relative to calls so in the money calls we only have 47,362 that are in the money and out the money puts we had 109,561 out the money puts uh, a little bit less than out the money calls obviously 451,000 uh, for puts out the money calls at 484,392 so I think you're getting a bit of a sell-off related to this because if you guys think about how a gamma 
a squeeze works you are buying calls and when you buy a call you agree or have the right to buy shares at that strike price by that expiration day if amc is over your strike so you can buy the shares what the hedge funds institutions or market makers have to do on the back end of that trade is once you start to get close to that price they will start to buy the shares because the house always wins right the casino always wins that's what you have to keep in mind the market makers they are not in this to be losing money so they have to buy the shares before your strike especially if it runs deep into the money and by doing that they still make money on that trade because they bought them at $38 let's say you have a $40 call so they will sell you them 100 shares at $40 so they would make $200 on that trade now it can work in a load of different ways but that was just an example now what happens with puts is when you are buying a put let's say amc 40 dollars put or 30 dollars put it doesn't really matter what the example is we'll just use 40 dollars if you buy that 40 dollars put you agree or have the right to sell your shares at 40 dollars so if the stock goes under 40 dollars if it goes to 30 dollars you would make a thousand dollars per contract you had now what the market makers have to do to be on the other end of that trade and still make money they have to short those shares let's say at $41 or $42 so they would sell or let you sell them at $40 and they would still make $200 on that trade now that if you guys don't understand what I'm saying it's basically the reverse from a gamma squeeze so if you're having a gamma squeeze the stock is going up it is being influenced by call options with a lot of put options it gets influenced to the downside that is basically the general sum of what i am trying to say you guys can pick this apart if you do want to it's a pretty simple concept but i do think if you want to go over the whole thing it's probably rightfully so just to be done in its own video because it can get a little bit complex but when you are looking at the option chain to see the call to put ratio how many puts that are actually in the money out the money compared to calls that are in the money and out the money you see a lot more calls that are out the money compared to puts that are out the money for the next about five weeks of expiration dates but you see a lot more puts that are in the money so i do think this will have a cancel out effect for the most part so i don't think you're going to see a huge drop but there is definitely no way possible we're going to see a gamma squeeze for the near term future Future, probably until about September 17th now we do have a possibility on this August 20th strike or expiration I just should say if we do see a huge price action in AMC stock but I don't think that's gonna be the case because even though I make all these videos obviously they don't reach a huge number of people but people continuously buy super far out the money options and the hedge funds institutions market makers whoever is writing you these contracts they are not buying the shares and hedging for these until you get close to to the actual strike of these contracts so most of these contracts are in between about a hundred and a hundred and forty five dollars so you're not going to see pretty much any delta hedging that is going on which is a fancy way for saying market makers are going to have to buy the shares to sell them to you at your strike and that is simply not going to be happening so i don't think we have any chance for a gamma squeeze but this could change at any given moment but as far as in the money puts you're seeing a lot more in the money puts than obviously in the money calls which is alarming but like i said i think this will kind of cancel itself out and you'll see a relatively flat week not really being influenced by calls or puts so i think it's really going to come down to the actual price action if shorts do start to cover or not and like i talk about in these videos all the time i don't even think the gamma squeeze is going to be a huge contributing factor to the overall short squeeze yes we will need to see some level of gamma squeeze and we will once all these contracts do start to run in the money but i don't think it's going to be a huge thing when it comes down to the short squeeze i think overall the hedge funds institutions that are going to be taking the back end of the trapes with the trade with the apes like literally buy in with us once the short squeeze happens and make these short-term trades as well as day traders fomo buyers that are actually going to help push amc stock up more than a potential gamma squeeze would so nothing too crazy there but let's acknowledge this this piece of news that came out when i seen this hit the wire i thought it was about amc but once you do a little bit more digging it is actually amc networks has agreed to pay 200 million to settle a long-running legal battle with the walking dead executive producer frank darabont and creative artist legacy llc over profits from the hit show so if you guys see this uh, spread throughout any video or you see this headline this is not amc entertainment it's amc networks and they did the 
collaboration with The Walking Dead. So that is what that is about. I just want to clear the air if you guys have not seen that already. Something else I do want to briefly talk about is the fact that Adam Aaron did tweet four hours ago that Chance the Rapper's movie will be going to only AMC theaters. So I think this is good. I don't think it's going to really move the needle per se, but he said they expect these to be sold out, so buy your tickets now at AMC theaters uh, slash movie slash Chance the Rapper. So essentially, I think this could be very good if they start to get more AMC theater only movies. I don't expect that to be a widespread thing, uh, but nevertheless, it could help the fundamental valuation of AMC stock. Now, let's take a look at the technical levels. Obviously, we're holding over the support level at $33 per share. We currently uh, are about to close out after hours right now at $34.05. So we're going to close out this week over $33. So it's going to be very important to see what does happen come Monday if we do break to the downside under $33 or if we re remain above $33. The next critical resistance level that I feel like we're going to get a little bit of resistance at is this $40 price point. We're going to have to break that, ultimately get back up to about $50 to $55, at really $60, and we'll, we will go back to this consolidation range that we've seen in between $50 and $60. So that is kind of what I expect sometime in the near-term future. You're having a lot of people come in by the dip. You're starting to see more volume with AMC stock, and the more volume generally the better for the stock now like i said in the last video we had 194 million in volume for yesterday but we only did have 126 million for volume today so you're going to want to see that huge volume spike that will kind of indicate you indicate to you what is going on with the stock but as you guys can see from the macd the inflows and outflows are becoming more neutral after we have seen a lot of outflows we're seeing this lighter pink indicating that they are becoming more neutral. So that is definitely a great thing overall. Uh, let's go to the four hour candlestick chart and let's take a look. Yeah, we are far from an actual golden cross or death cross right now. We're starting to converge. So if this 50 day moving average crosses under the 200 day moving average, that will not be a good sign. But I think that will still take some time if that does happen. So that is pretty much all you guys need to know. Literally, we went over everything in this video. So if you guys want to stay up to date with what is going on with AMC, make sure to hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel as well as check out the links down below in the description there is a link for public no no need to even link a bank out or deposit a single dollar get up to 70 dollars in your choice free stock in about three minutes time and for weeble also linked in the description deposit 100 dollars, get four free stocks each of them potentially worth up to 2400 dollars a piece and if you want to be notified every time i buy the dip in amc or make a trade in amc or any other stock we invest for the long-term day trades swing trades with stocks options and crypto check out the link for the buy and sell alerts it literally pays for itself but with that being said i will see you guys in the next video